Okay, my good people. So the, this pastor who is uh, responding to the tragic death of Brian Chira, and uh, he's talking about uh, the destiny destroyers, and he's mentioning one of the um, people he believes when he entered into Chira's life, he destroyed his life or is destroyed his the progress he was making so i want us to listen to what he has to say then i'll come back and share my thoughts before we draw close to this video so let's just listen okay mimi kuna zunjamo ndazungumzia kuna watu wanatonga destiny destroyers destiny me destroyers huyu mtu akiingia maisha ni mwako maisha yako yanaisha maana huyu mtu ameletwa kwako na shetani hajaletwa na Mungu kwa sababu huyu Aziad jambo la kwanza tu alipoingia na katika maisha ya kijana alimtoa wapi shuleni na akamtoa kule shuleni akampeleka jela shule msaili expel uh -huh. juu hiyo kesi yake mhm uh -huh. hey, yeye alimtoa akampeleka wapi kwa jela na alipompeleka kwa jela shule ilimu expel kwa hiyo inamaanisha kwamba huyu Aziad ndiye destroy maisha ya nani huyu kijana that means kwamba yeye alifanyika kama destiny destroyer wa maisha ya nani ya huyu uchira mm. so watu kama Asia i think ni sambuli moja ya wale tunaita kwamba destiny destroyers maana yeye kama hangeingia katika maisha ya huyu kijana huyu kijana angeendelea kusoma lakini alipoingia mahali pale kwa maisha yake akayaharibu huyo alifanyika kama destiny destroyer wa maisha ya chira mm. so na kuna watu ambao labda mko kama Asia nyinyi ambao hamna roho ya kusamehe. Na mtu yote ambaye hana roho ya kusamehe hata maisha yake huwa ni magumu sana. Maisha yake huwa anaishi maisha magumu, maisha ya kungangana, maisha ambayo hana breakthrough kwa sababu ndani ya moyo wake amebeba kutosamehe. Na mtu ambaye amebeba kutosamehe huyo mtu na much... Okay so I believe you've gotten a, a, a hint or a glimpse of what he is speaking about but basically it's a concept it's a biblical concept that uh, on earth uh, you have a destiny you have an area or an assignment you've been called to execute to carry and that leads you to success it leads you to breakthrough it leads you to a place where you you are paid for this uh, solutions you're offering so in this situation that concept um, is being mentioned alongside branchira and uh, according to him uh, branchira's life was on the up until he met uh, the lady he's talking about uh, i'm not sure I'm, I'm allowed to mention but <laughs> i have to be careful <laughs> but anyway this will be my thoughts huh? um it's true we have destiny helpers and destiny destroyers however at the end of the day the power has been given to the destiny carrier you are the destiny carrier i am the destiny carrier so you are the one who god has given so much power because everything about the destiny everything about your purpose is never spilled out to the public not even to your most closest people your parents your mom for example who took care of you for nine months who carried you in her womb can you imagine but even the most closest person is kept at bay or is kept away from knowing your destiny why so that the destiny has to depend on the career so in this case i totally i don't totally agree with this uh, um man of god I want also to put responsibility on the destiny career. Chira knowing he had a destiny he was carrying more power, more responsibility uh, to the destiny career than destiny destroyers or destiny helpers. So in this context, I'm not in agreement with the, that the fact that uh, Asia destroyed her. Uh, the destiny of chira i'll have to put responsibility and the tag on 
the destined career. As a destined career, you're supposed to be very cautious and cognizant of who you bring into your life. No one comes into your life without your permission. In fact, your destiny is inside your heart, is inside where no man can reach. But you can allow people to get into you through their words, through their influence. So at the end of the day, it is you, the destined career, who allowed their negative influence to get into you. And so it distracted you or poison was introduced into you, pain, anger, and all that stuff. And eventually you are derailed or you are locked out of, of your destiny. So destiny destroyers are there, but at the end of the day, the destiny carrier is more superior than a destiny destroyer or a destiny helpers. All the two, destroyer and the helper, depend on the behavior, engagement, and interactions of the destiny carrier. So if you're watching this and you know you have a destiny, and all of us have that destiny. You've got to be very careful. The Bible says bad company corrupts good morals. So you've got to be very choosy when it comes to friends, when it comes to people you associate with. Because there are people, once you bring into your space, you're dead. Your career is dead. Your destiny is dead. And definitely when your destiny is dead, your physical death is just around the corner. Thank you. Let me hear your thoughts on the same. My name is Martin the Coach. It was a pleasure having you.